Good morning, guys. Last week, I told you that I was moving to Italy in two months. So this week, I thought that I would tell you guys about the admissions test that I have to take and everything like that. The admissions test is called the IMAT, which stands for the International Medical Admissions Test, I believe. And it is a 60 question, 100 minute multiple choice test. It is at an AP high school level-ish knowledge level, I guess. Um, however, it is still pretty difficult, especially because a lot of the answer choices are very similar. They do the whole like tricky, like which one is it? Like you can get it down to two, but the two are like both kind of right. That's how the test is. Today, I thought that I would share with you my favorite study materials for this test because I figured since I've been studying for it for a while and I found a bunch of good resources, I would share it with you guys. And also, if you are interested in taking the test, then I highly recommend that you register and start studying for it as soon as you possibly can because I know that the registration like ends pretty soon. Come say hi. Come say hi. I also know that as we get closer and closer to the deadline that the spots in the testing centers are filling up really quickly. Like I know that I was going to take it in New York, but I logged on like July 4th or something like that, like July 3rd and the testing center was full. So if you're going to like try to find a testing center not in Italy and it's going to have a limited number of seats, then you want to try and register for it as soon as possible because there's a chance that it doesn't have any more seats. Okay, so I have my computer here with my notes up with a whole bunch of different study materials that I've gathered and I will also be linking these down below so that you guys can check them out. The most important piece of study material, at least in my opinion, are the previous tests. Now there aren't that many but there are plenty for you to study from and for you to take as practice tests and also, I recommend taking one before you start studying so that you know your baseline, you know you know what you've remembered from high school, if you went to college, what you remember from college, and then you can like kind of build on from your knowledge from there. Personally, what I'm doing is every two weeks until the test, I am taking a practice test. So this, just a couple of days ago, I took the 2016 test. And I've already taken the 2017 test um, earlier this year, so I'm skipping that one. So then in two weeks, I will be taking, or I guess at the end of July, I will be taking the 2018 test. And then at the middle of August, I'll be taking the 2019 test. At the end of August, I'll be taking the 2020 test. And then in between those practice tests, I am figuring out what's my strength, what's my weakness, what do I need to work on, what sections do I need to cover, and everything like that. So I'm just really working on studying in between those tests and using those tests each, like every two weeks as my baseline, just so that I know what I'm building upon and what I already have knowledge in, so that I'm not wasting my time studying stuff that I already know and that I don't need any further knowledge on. Then for the rest of the practice test, because I believe that it goes from uh, 2011 to 2020. So I use 2011, 2012, 13, 14, and 15 as my like set of practice questions, as my like just random study material, everything like that. I go through, I look at the questions that they have. I see like what things I need to know from those tests. I go through and I like mark up the uh, topics that they're talking about so that I can like kind of make sure like, hey, I don't know the answer to that. I need to check out this topic. And that's really been helping me, especially preparing for the like practice test that I'm taking every two weeks. Now, another thing that I like and that I personally bought is this IMAT guide. It has 650 practice questions. This book is great. It has so many practice questions. It's pretty much all correct. There are a couple errors in here, but that's okay. It still has a ton of really good information. What I really like about it is that it has a whole bunch of questions for every section, including logical reasoning. So like that section is so hard to study for because you just have to basically do practice questions. And um, this book is a great book if you need to practice that section. But basically one of my favorite things about it is that it has explanations for the answers. And a lot of times like for biology questions, it will also explain why the other answers are wrong. 
So this one is a really good resource if you need explanations, if you need more practice questions. This is something that I highly recommend. I use this quite often and I believe it was like 30 bucks on Amazon or something, but definitely worth it, especially for the questions and the explanations to the answers. That is one of the things that I don't really like about the practice test from Cambridge from the IMAT itself because it has the practice test and then the answers, but the answers are just the letter. They aren't like, they don't explain anything or anything like that. So if you get something wrong, then you have to work on figuring out what you did wrong and how you get it right. Whereas this book kind of explains to you what you did wrong and how you can fix it and you know, the correct answer. YouTube channels have been one of the biggest helps ever. They are amazing, especially because people really take so much time and thought and really thoroughly explain these concepts and questions. It's been wonderful. So what I have is a couple of YouTube channels that I really love. So I have Med School EU, which is a pre-med student. I think he's Canadian and he is practicing studying for the test this year so he has provided some videos about the biology section at the moment and he is a really good resource everything that i've watched from his channel has been very accurate so that's been really really nice and also it's really convenient because everything's kind of in one place and he goes through and um basically on the imap page you can go through and you can see the topics that like the IMAT might cover. So he goes through each one of these topics individually and does a video about them, which is super helpful because you're learning exactly what the IMAT wants you to learn basically. He also has some good advice on pre-enrollment and registering for the IMAT, getting like if you need a visa, if you need your documents translated, everything like that. So he is a really good resource and I would highly recommend checking out his channel if you're you know, curious about the IMAT and if you need to study. I'm probably going to mess up this name, but I believe his name is Ari Haresh and he does like marathons. Like he'll do like a two hour marathon. He did a like 12 hour marathon, I think, of doing just a whole bunch of questions. He goes through, he has you answer the questions and then he goes through and explains them, which is really convenient. I believe he is a tutor. And so I think he's like tutoring people while he's like doing these videos and whatnot. But it's really cool and I feel like he's a really good resource. He goes through a lot of stuff. So if you need some like guidance going through some of the practice tests and going through some of the practice questions, then I highly recommend Ari Haresh because he actually goes through the test questions and practice questions and does them with you. Whereas Med School EU just goes through the topics. So what I recommend doing is you can use Med School EU to go through the topics and concepts and then go to Ari Huresh and do the practice questions and then get the explanations for if you get it wrong. The next three are just kind of basic science channels. They aren't really um, specifically for the IMAP, but they are channels that I've been using since high school and find really, really good content on. So of course, Crash Course. I mean, everyone knows that's a great resource. I love how simply they explain everything. They make it to where you can really like remember it easily. And that's definitely one of my biggest resources that I've been using as well. I also like Bozeman Science and the Organic Chemistry Tutor. Now these definitely go way more in depth. They really take the time so that you thoroughly understand what's going on with whatever it is, whether that be meiosis, mitosis, or biochemistry, or whatever it is that you're doing. They thoroughly, thoroughly explain it. They also just go into more depth than Crash Course. So that's really good on if you feel like you need to understand the concept even more. I've also been using some free textbooks. So I've been getting the free textbooks from a website called OpenStax. And specifically, I've been using an AP Physics and an AP Bio and an AP Chem book on there. So I will leave links to those, but the, that's, I've just been like going through and seeing the topic that I need to know. Like if I need to know meiosis, then I go to that. If I need to go to chemical equations or, you know, chemical structures and chemistry, then I go to that. If I need to go to forces and physics, then I go to that. And it just kind of, you know, helps it like 
it just is another resource to find some more information. I definitely prefer the YouTube channels and the practice questions so much more. But every once in a while, I just need a, you know, I just need to look at a textbook and see what I can find in there. Another resource would be look at the other practice tests and stuff that Cambridge has for their other tests. So I know that they have a BMAT, which is not the IMAT, but it has pretty similar questions and content. So you can look at those previous tests, practice tests, practice questions for that. Those tend to have a few more resources than the IMAT does because the IMAT is still a pretty small test. It's a small program, you know, so there's only so many resources out there for it right now. And last but not least, I have been using a ton of flashcards. I've heard that there's a website called Anki. I think it's A-N-K-I-I. -I. I won't be able to link it because I'm in the United States and we don't have that here. So I haven't been able to use it, but so many people have been using it and I just wish that I had it because it seems to be like a really good resource. But so I've heard a ton of people have like IMAT stuff on it. So if you can get Anki, I recommend getting that one. But I have been using memory.com and just creating my own flashcards just so that I can go through and review. I find flashcards to be a way easier way for me to memorize, especially for a section like biology where it's mainly just memorization. The flashcards have been really helpful. Those are all my resources for right now. I will let you guys know if I find anything else. As always, leave me any comments about any questions that you have. I won't be doing any videos like going over the content or anything like that. Like that is just not really my thing, but I will be doing, you know, some study with me's and like keeping track of my progress and stuff like that. So I hope that this helps you and I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye.